Meteorologist Chad Evans, weather from where you live. Well, the first of five major storms is hitting California. This brought about one to three inches of rain across Southern California today. Look at that water rushing off that hillside. Uh, a lot of this fell in the burn areas where we had all the fires back in September. So a lot of the water is just running off. And I think most of Southern California is looking at up to seven, eight inches of rain by early next week. And this will probably be the worst flooding and the highest mudslide threat we've seen since about 1998. Big, big issues out there. And it's going to be national headlines with all the flooding out in California. It's just one disaster after another in this very active winter of 09 and 10. As for us tonight, freezing fog advisory over our northeastern counties. I do think this will be expanded throughout most of the area overnight tonight. So pretty much count on that because we've got loads of dense fog advisory uh, advisories and freezing fog advisories off to the west. So uh, prepare for icy spots on the roads and poor visibility early tomorrow morning. Now, we saw the weather pattern change from Arctic cold and snow to this very stagnant, foggy, and mild pattern. Now we're going to change the weather pattern again and bring a rainy and mild regime in here. Let's go to 3D and kind of pinpoint all this. Uh, right now, we've got a dirty high pressure, which most of the time, high pressure brings sunny, fair weather. In this case, it's acting as a lid, keeping all the moisture, fog, and pollution near the surface. But it is going to weaken. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. We'll get a couple breaks in the clouds tomorrow. And then a wet, mild regime will ensue late this week with a lot of rain, inch and a half to nearly three inches, I think, uh, after these three systems pass by early early next week. Now tonight though temperatures will drop into the 20s. We're talking about lows uh, upper 20s pretty much area wide with the dense freezing fog and the black ice and then for tomorrow the fog will lift. We'll see hopefully a couple of breaks in the clouds during the afternoon and a high temperature upper 30s north to low 40s here in the south. 41 low, uh, Lafayette and 39 at Monticello. So that's the good news for tomorrow. We'll get rid of the fog but and we'll hope for a few breaks in the clouds, but our next storm system will begin to edge our way towards Wednesday. I think late, late Wednesday, some rain moving in. Thankfully, we'll miss out on the ice storm to our northwest. Rain on Thursday, a half to three quarters of an inch. Pretty windy as well. And then rain late on Friday, mid 40s for your high, but a really mild weekend. Temps in the 50s, but a lot of rain, perhaps even a rumble of thunder, and a lot of severe weather in the southern U.S. before we turn to more of a typical regime, some scattered snow showers Monday, but still temperatures above normal with highs in the mid 30s. Aries, a dense freezing fog tonight, down to 29 degrees. Tomorrow, 41 for the high morning fog. Hopefully, hopefully a little afternoon sunshine and hopefully a little sunshine for Wednesday till the rain moves in. And we've got about three waves of rain to get through with highs in the 50s by Saturday.